another day i know a video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching legacies this is episode six of season one hopefully guys are enjoying the series so far last episode i thought was really interesting actually it's quite a bit of information like knocking around i mean actually i won't say it was information it was like storytelling that could have possible like consequences going down the line which i really enjoyed because we'll start off with landon you know is he staying or is he going that is what we had to decide so rick decided that the best way for the school to progress forward is they should have a committer and it should consist of you know somebody from the witches from the wolves and from the vampires you know I, i've had it in my school before school council somebody's elected from each year you go in you give you you know you, you give your opinions and ideas and see if you can improve it well they got submitted and um, the people that was running was mg he was running because he wanted to get Caleb out of the cellar that he was locked in. Obviously, he's been going on a madden recently. And, uh, you know, he's his friend and he, he kind of wants to get him out and he wants him to have his say. So he was running for the vampires. We had Liz. She was running for the witches. She thought she was going to win. She thought, no, it was a clear run and she was going to smash it. And then, obviously, we had, well, Raphael, you know, he wants, uh, he went over. He asked um, the Alpha, could he um, vote, for, uh, vote for Landon to stay? He said, no, mate. You know, you didn't submit when we first come to you, so I'm not going to submit to you, the best thing would be to see you suffer, and we're going to vote him out, uh, so what did he do, he challenged him, he had to, you know, it, that's what you got to do, you got to make a stand, if you want something done, you do it yourself, he challenged him, he won successfully, he had a fight, and uh, he is now the leader of, uh, of the Wolves, I said it in the last episode, if you want people to stand by you, and you want people to respect you, then you want to stay, being the alpha, then you've got to listen to all opinions, and you've got to treat people with respect, Jackson uh, was kind of warned by that by Oliver in the originals, wasn't it? You know, even though it's his friend, they didn't agree with some of the situations that he was doing. And because he thought like he was more consistent and more like swaying towards Taylor and the vampire side, that the wolves, they started to ruffle feathers. And that was happening here. You know, the guy wasn't, he was demanding respect from everybody. And uh, you don't get that. You don't get respect from demanding it. You get it from being a nice person and from being a caring one. And I like how Raphael finally won. So that is it, mate. We had the committer, well, the potential. It come to the votes being cast and uh, being an announced, should I say. And it's kind of like Harry Potter, pff, mate, comes out the flames. Who was it for the witches? It was Joe. It wasn't Liz. It was the other sister who didn't even put her name into it. But who did? Penelope. That's really interesting because it kind of like... I don't know. I think the storyline between Joe and Penelope is really interesting, actually. I think that... I don't know if they're supposed to kind of make us not like Penelope, but I actually think she's really interesting. And I have got... I haven't got a bad word to say about her. I actually think she's pretty decent. And I, I'm actually intrigued in how their storylines kind of progress because, as you've seen later on in the episode, yeah, they cast the votes, and, well, it didn't go well for Raphael. It didn't go well for Landon, mate, because... Caleb actually won the vampire vote as well. You know, he persuaded all the vampires to go, to go against MG and to go against, uh, well, to vote for him. He's come out. He's cast Landon out. Um, Hope come to the table as well. She didn't even, she was like, I'm a tribe with me. No one's here to speak for me. I'm in. She just demanded it. And she voted Landon out as well, which is really, really interesting. And then it went all the way around to Raphael. He voted to keep him in. So there was one vote left to do, you know, seal it. What's it going to be? Is it going to be level or whatnot? No, mate. Joe voted against him. She was like, look, we don't know if he's good or if he's bad. So he needs to go. Well, I swayed on the side. If you don't know if someone's good or bad, then you can't just kick him away because he could be one of you you know they don't know if he's a supernatural or not and because he hasn't successfully passed these tests so far they decided that's it right get him out you know can't have him that where obviously i swayed on the other side but you know none of us are right and wrong i took one way like i said i went left she went right interesting so that went Raphael. he lashed out um and he stormed off now the person is it jed is he the old alpha he blamed um landon and, and Raphael. he went over and he attacked him and, uh, well, we yeah, pretty much, like, knocked him out. Well, Hope had, like, a truth ball because he was obviously asking questions uh, to Landon, trying to figure out, you know, what his powers are. And she said, do you feel safe here in the school? He said, yeah, of course I do. Well, she said it turns out he was lying. That is the reason why she cast him uh, to vote out. So I like how there's a bit of justification behind her actions. And later on, obviously, she sent him away. She was like, look, mate, you need to find out who you are. And uh, there's a person I've got a contact in New Orleans that will help you. So I'm interested to see if he goes and sees Marcel. 
or if he goes to see Freya. But what was really interesting, he has a picture, and in this picture, it had a symbol, yeah? This symbol was on a woman's necklace, and uh, what we've seen in the episode is that Rick, um, he had, like, another monster captured, but this time, she wasn't actually a bad one. She was, like, she was a tree, and uh, she was saying that, all she knows is that there's this symbol and it's and she drawn it and she's like, look, whenever I get near this knife, I, I just want to grab it. I, I, it's like I'm possessed and I feel like I need to take it down into this dark place. And that's kind of what he was saying, Landon. So, I mean, it's like a connection between them and I'm interested to see who his family actually are. Um, so he, he's been sent off. Raphael obviously fuming because obviously his his brother's been gone. He's stormed off into the gym. Who's in the gym? Lizzie's there. She's mad as well. Like I said, because she lost a vote to Joe, and uh, she looks like they ended up sleeping with each other. So, like I said, with the storyline between um, Joe and Penelope, I think it's going to be interesting because she was interested in Raphael and she kissed him, and now Liz has slept with Raphael. Is she going to forgive her? I don't know. I don't want the sisters to butt heads, but I feel like this is going to cause a rift. It always does, isn't it? You know, same old, same old. If you're, like, fancying someone and, well, your sister sleeps with them, you're going to be fuming, aren't you? So, I, again, I'm interested to see where that one plays out as well. But I like Penelope's reason for putting Joe in the in the pot. She was like, look, mate, you think that you deserve to win. And when the votes come up, like, to say who could be in charge, did you even consider your sister? No. You think that she's always there supporting you, but you're never there supporting her and you never take her opinions on board and never consider her feelings. And maybe it's time that somebody actually does that and you need to understand that this she's there. I like it. <laughs> I actually like it. I, I didn't think she said anything bad. So, I mean, again, that is another storyline that I'm actually really interested in. But the person that I dislike the most so far is Caleb, I've got to admit. Uh, not as much as like I want him out of the show, but... If I had to pick someone that I dislike the most so far, it's Caleb. And the person that I actually like the most so far, ooh, it's a tough one. Probably Joel, to be honest. I actually really do like her. I'm really interested in her as well. So, thanks for on today's episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you do, please smash a like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. <laughs> How do I tell the girls that their mom isn't going to be there for their 16th birthday? Oh, it's Joe. I've got to call you back. <laughs> Rick, if you could just put down the crossbow, my freakout level is about 11 right now. Do you know what? This Joe actually seems like Joe. You know what I mean? The last one that come in that was possessed, you could tell it wasn't. This one actually seems like the same one. Really interesting. Listen to Dorian. Are you Dorian? Yeah. I'm Joe. You're his dead wife? You know what I'm thinking? Kill her now before she attacks? Wait, what? I, I, I was more or less interrogate her. Because if she's the next monster, then maybe she'll know more than a dry head. I mean, I may never see him again. And nobody wants a phone thing. Though I do like the sound of his voice. It's low and smart sounding. You need a friend. All right, let's get the rest of these chairs and tables and get him out of here. Who put you on party duty? I volunteered. What do you want? I promise you it was for his own good. You've known him for two minutes and you know what's good for him? I know that I want him to be safe. I do kind of need help with something. I need to know what to expect for tonight. I don't want to let Lizzie down. Hey, I didn't see you at breakfast. I'm just She's going to say. Happy birthday to us. Mom's coming home. I had sex with Roth. My pores are practically invisible. <laughs> Wait, what? I wouldn't have time to represent the witches now with a boyfriend. So you getting the consolation prize is... The consolation prize. What do you want? I'll just to cheer you two up, you know, because your mom's not coming. There you go. Put a basic boundary spell to keep her in. Get jealous, eh? Who's that? <laughs> okay, let's talk. Okay, what's the last thing you remember? My dress, our vows. My psychopath twin brother with a very large knife. Mm -hmm. About 16 years ago. This is Mystic Falls. I'm not exactly the first person we brought back from the dead. Yeah, well, things have gotten a little mm -hmm. complicated around here lately. And when were you going to tell us that mom wasn't coming back? Strike at the airport in Mozambique. <laughs> What are we interrupting here? I'm serious. Do as I say and now just go. Lizzie. How would you react? It's a bio mom. <laughs> bio mom, isn't it? Me, I've got to say, I do love the fact that they don't give no shit that Caroline is not bio mom. <laughs> Vamp mom, bio mom, mate. That is sick. Honestly, I do like that. Um, they, 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 it's just mum. Ah! <sighs> How interesting is this? Like, because I know the last one that was in the episode was a monster. 
and she did try and get the knife, but she wasn't bad, was she? And, like, I'm hoping Joel's not bad, but then it seems like Momby Dearest, it's called. Like, it sounds like a zombie dearest, innit? Mm. Crap the cold there. I don't know, it's interesting. I, I kind of, like, want Liz to say, uh, Joel to stay now, but it's obviously not going to happen. Your family's crazy coven magically implanted them in Caroline when you died. She's their birth mother. We opened this school together. She's overseas right now doing very important recruiting work. And now you bow. Yeah, you're messing with me. You think this is bad? You know it's only going to get worse, right? Lizzie Saltzman has been planning her sweet 16 since she was five. Dude, I am here to help. By telling Lizzie and Josie that their mom isn't coming? Oh, that was just for Lizzie. I demand that you retrieve your little MGs from Lizzie's grip. <laughs> no, I can taste victory. <laughs> And when it's over, and the Queen of Mean has broken your heart all over again, promise me that you will let Lizzie go. I'm here to harm you. I'm here to harm you. This is well interesting. Was it love at first sight? Not quite. I flirted with him and asked him for a sip of his drink. He told me he was a germaphobe. She is well cute, eh, man, honestly. You're leading. You're officially a gigolo. <laughs> Everybody needs a crew. Kind of ironic coming from the reluctant alpha. The pack is one thing, but a crew is a crew. You know what? I had that and landed until you sent them away. We're back to that. There your spell. Fantastic. I like Penelope. If Joey is another monster, she can do more damage to you than any dragon. World War One soldiers buried in France who came back to life and massacred a village. We can be mad at Mom all that we want for missing our party, but we cannot cheat on her with Mom be dearest. What is it? Some earrings? Oh, a necklace. Hey, Jojo. Need an escort? You know anyone whose heart isn't made of stone? You have crawled so far down the codependence rabbit hole that you think taking care of yourself is selfish? Party starts in five. It's a shame you spent all of that time helping Lizzie get ready. Uh, it's mad. Don't you, don't you look at situations differently? Like, I never even thought of that. It's mad. Mazakine, mate. my date you're looking at him what if i told you my favorite was sunflowers i know you were lying ah that is sick look at him he's going for it you like a blend of hip-hop and old school motown and powdered bat wings make you sneak oh he's really good looking and he's got nice teeth as well his vibes are so good man are you gonna be late oh no it's cool no one will notice there's someone special because he has dips she know you like him. Being 16 and having a strong twin sister isn't a cakewalk. Caroline is your mom. Well, Lizzie's exactly like her. You would never know that she's not her biological mom. But you can catch me up later. You have a party to go to. Actually, do you come with it? me? I knew she was going to date, man. Relax, it's only been 12 hours. It's not that. Look, it has only been six weeks since your girlfriend died. And it's right to mourn your girlfriend. But you can't pretend to like Lizzie to make yourself feel better. Do you know what? I do like how he obviously loved his girlfriend. That like, she's died six weeks ago, yeah, and he's still feeling like he's cheating on her when she's not even here no more. Do you know what I mean? That is, there's good love that. Like, but in terms of this Lizzie thing, how interesting is it? Because <clears throat> he wants to be, I think he wants to be with Joel. Looks like it, and Joel wants to be with him. But I want Joel to be with Penelope. I actually do. I, 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 it's weird that because, like, I don't know. When she was first introduced, I, when she set her on fire and stuff, I, did, did we even get told that... I, I was going to ask, how did they break up? But it was told to us a minute ago that Penelope broke up with, with Joel. But I can't remember if they told us the reason. And if they have told us, it was so early on. And before I missed all the chaos, I, I've, I've forgotten it. Now... Penelope seems like she wants Joel back, but she seems like she, she yeah, like she likes her and she's respecting her and she's like sticking up for her. And like, to me, all I've seen from Penelope is she's being nice to Joel. Now, okay, she might have done bad things in the past, but I haven't seen that yet. So, like, in terms of this, it's interesting because if I was going to say before this MG thing, I'd be like, I'll be fine, mate, with Penelope and Joel and, and Raphael and Liz, but now. I want MG to be with Liz. How <laughs> I, 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 I much of a nice guy is he? Like, and he's really good looking as well. I like his afro. He's got a nice smile. Guy can obviously dance. And he, his vibes are just chilling, mate. The guy is just a happy guy. 
way better than the Caleb for the vampires anyway. If you put them two vampires contrasting each other, he's well better. So, like, interesting. Out of all of this, Raph would end up with no one in <laughs> if I was picking it. So, I mean, I, I didn't expect that a couple of episodes ago. But this Joe, I don't know if she's manipulated it or what, if she's purposely playing it to be kind, like Dorian said, like, or, or the... the therapists that they've tried the attack and now they're trying to be like civil and, and kind and get in and manipulate it that way might have worked we did see in the mirror she had like a face of a like a zombie i don't know a dead person but does she know like can she see that why can't anybody else do you know what i mean very interesting look at him so lizzie's in love with rock but mg's in love with lizzie joe Hey, that was decent. She was fast. You sent him away by himself to find a woman that gave him up. What if she's amazing? But he is my brother. Anything, maybe you should try doubling down on friends. Make her for the family you don't have. She's gonna go straight to him. She'll look over his shoulder. I'm man. I'm sorry I was late. I'll forgive you. I was mad in it. Blind blinkers. She could be anywhere, Dorian. How did you get out? Josie wanted me to come to the party, and so she siphoned the spell again. <gasps> There's an orphan in your position that'll buy you the answer. Dr. Saltzman. Ah, she looks What's sick, going mate. on? Oh, shit. I'm holding you to our deal. As of this moment, Lizzie Saltzman's canceled. I could use your help finding Josie. What happened? Apparently, her possessed biological mother buried her alive in the cemetery. Hello, Rick. Where is it? My daughter's life is at stake. That's why I moved it. We're not giving up this knife. I like it, Dorian, man. I like it. Big up him for being smart and using this initiative. <laughs> oh, <check> this guy. <laughs> Definitely wants the walking dead. Zombies. He's pretty, though. Lizzie, I'm sorry, but I can't. And I want to be the best Tate that I can be. The other stuff is not going to happen. Last night was a mistake. I feel like if he tells about his girlfriend, it'll help her a bit more. Cause it sounds bad, like. Whoa! MG, we're running out of time. I got her. The talisman, it worked. I mean, something is driving these monsters. A, a dark presence that we just can't figure it out tell the girls to siphon its magic from me the magic's probably the only thing keeping you alive interesting birthday in it best 16th birthday ever killing you by a woman getting broken up with and they're getting buried alive i am happy right now in the mm. arms of my demon possessed baby mama they know what happens when they turn 22. fucking hell mate oh, yeah. shit they and have to merge i don't want them to know and... you tell caroline thank you for being my girl's what not beard that I've got because I shaved it is standing on its edge, mate. Like, I can't believe they, I have not thought of that. Oh, I can't believe that. They, I totally forgot that they got a merge. Ugh. Who's alive in the Gemini coven, though? This is the thing. Is it just them? Because if it's just them, who cares? Do you know what I mean? Like, I thought the Gemini coven just made them do it because they thought that that was like, you know, to keep the pack going on whatever the coven going the strongest, but. I can't believe it. I feel like now if you read between the lines, they build up the story that Lizzie gets everything and then when they become 21, Josie's, she's going to do the sacrifice and Josie's going to get it. I feel like that is just... If you wrote the story now, that is the story you would write because she gets everything and she gets nothing and then I feel like she'll make the sacrifice and she'll get it and evil. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm only six episodes in, right? And I already don't want that to happen. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like... I actually don't want that to, I cannot believe that I, that I totally glossed over that fact, I didn't even think of it, it's madness. And I do I like that Rick was uh, happy with her then? I do, man. I actually really like it. Um, it's really nice seeing her back, actually. And, like, I know that she's been a demon half the episode, but half the episode she was being the mum, being his wife again, and it's just nice to see. That was the real me. 
like from the comics. What about if these got together? Girls don't just get the girl, they get all the girls. You're the reason I got buried alive on my birthday. I wanted something and I went for it. I made the selfish move and I ended up finding a zombie. This world needs the selfless and the selfish to keep spinning. I happen to be the latter. I hate you. <laughs> She's going back in for a kiss. <laughs> Can't happen though we landed. Night. I actually had a lot of fun. You want to see if I still got it? Like you took a bath in dirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, remember Stefan? I mean, sure. Damon and Elena's dance in front of that fire. I'm already dead. I love that I had this. The longer I'm here, the more I remember where I came from. I used to watch all of you, like in a dream, where everything is warm and happy. Acting's been good. You have such a big heart. It's okay to let other people see it. You are everything that I could have ever wished for fight for each other but i need you to remember that i said it i can't believe they got got a marriage oh joseph this is the right thing to do i love you i love this song in the background i'll take care of all of this <laughs> it wouldn't do you any good. It sounds like Johnny Depp. And who the hell are you? Tremble then in the presence of the Necromancer! Who? Necromancer! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to the business of a show. I want him to kill him now. That's, do you know what? That's how I wanted that episode to end. I didn't want it playing out into the next one. I kind of wanted him to, to get smoked off then. The Necromancer, head chopped off. Dead, mate. You're the dead Necromancer, literally. That's what I'd like to see. But I want Rick to dominate him this ep next episode. Tie him up, go for it. Just absolutely slash him up all over. His face is all cut up anyway. He's like Michael Myers, mate. Just cut it all off, torture him, do whatever it takes, Rick. I'm excited. Got to say, personally, I think ooh, this might be my favourite episode. Bit of nostalgia in there. I really liked the stories that was going on. I, I, um, it made me more... I was going to say, like, invested. That's not the word. I really like... Like, it made my like likeable age or whatever. I don't even know what the word is. Of MG and Penelope Rise, this episode. Like, I re really, both of them rose. And, and uh, I got some some nice moments as well. I, I like the fact that Hope is kind of letting somebody in. Now, I do want her to be with Landon. If she's going to be with someone, him, not Raphael. But I kind of like how he is saying as well, like, he can't string Liz along. I've got to respect it. And what he was saying about his girlfriend, I like how Penelope got a kiss off Joe, um, and, and vice versa, because I, after this episode, I, I really think they're decent together. Um, and MG Sean as well, in my opinion. Uh, he, he's such a nice guy. I hope that he does end up getting with Liz at some point. But I just... Yeah, I just think he's, re he's really nice. I, it, it hurt me inside when I seen him come over, um, Raphael, and uh, he had to leave him. That because that, that is so sad. But again, I really loved the scene with Rick and Joe when he was hugging each other and speaking. It's nice to see her back in it. And then we got the dropping news of the Siphon, whatever, the Gemini Coven's got to die and merge at 21. Totally forgot about it, dropped it in, it's excited me. And you know what? I know it's 16, so unless you jump a few seasons, like, you know, next season they're 18 and 20. Do you know what I mean? It could be a long time, but again, they've dropped it in, which means it's exciting. Okay, and that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, there was lots of stuff in this episode that I liked. I've got to say, the last two episodes, I have enjoyed the fact that the person that's coming, the bad the monster, whatever, is, has not been, like, a proper demon coming after him and killing them and like hardcore like we said but we went through three like hardcore episodes of like um what did we have now we had the the dragon the gargoyle and we had the spider and i was saying they're defeating them quite quickly considering the cgi that they're putting in them you know like they've been actual threats they've come in to attack where the last episode we had the tree woman dropping information in she kind of you know the storyline with landon and like the dark darkness she added to that which 
created a bit more like, oh, what's going on? What's this? What's that? You know, where's he going? Who's his family? Suspicion. Drawn it in there. While the episode was good, it didn't need that action. She was she was good enough. Again, Joel, this episode, we didn't need somebody bam, 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 attacking because the nostalgia of Joel being there and everything that come around it was very good. You know, Caroline um, had to... She, she was missing the, the, the birthday. Now... I do like how we got told why she was missing it later on in the episode, that she is going to try and find a solution and, you know, get out of jail cards or whatever you want to call it, to the twins possibly having to merge when they're 21, you know, that is madness, I cannot believe I didn't even remember that, uh, I kind of just brushed it aside for the fact that I thought there was no Gemini covered anymore, yeah, they're part of it, but what, them two, you know, when one dies, what, are they just going to, the other one's just going to be chilling for no reason, do you know what I mean, like, so I did push that aside, you know, maybe being naive, um, which has now got me really invested into it again, because I want to know how they're going to react when it happens, I did say that, obviously, the way the show's going now, kind of, Lizzie gets everything, and, like, Joel's always at the side, like, helping and doing stuff for her, and maybe the way, if you was to write the story right here, right now, when he's 21, it's like, she'll step aside, and she'll let her, you know, sacrifice herself, but, I also like the fact how Penelope's come in and she said, you know, like, look, you know, you're going to be late for your own party. Um, she And she's like, yeah, no one's going to notice. How sad is that, mate? You know, she, she said that to her mum, to Joe. No one's going to notice that I'm not going to be there because everyone will be focusing on Liz. Uh, it, it is really sad. And like I said, I like Penelope, how she said it, mate. Focus on yourself. It's not selfish to focus on yourself. It isn't selfish. It's definitely not. Fully, like, the only person... Like, the, the most important person in the world is you, you know, like, regardless. I know, like, in certain situations, you do put, like, others in front of you, like, into... But the main person in real life that you have to focus on is yourself. As long as you're happy, then you can become a better person and help everybody else, you know. If you're putting everybody before yourself and you're constantly miserable, then that's not no self-love. So I, I do agree, man. you got to think of yourself first. And in situations like that, yeah... Why would you help somebody else get ready and then yourself not get ready for your own party? Do you know what I mean? So you help that person get all dolled up and glammed and all eyes on you. Yeah, it's your party as well and you're going to be well late because you've helped them. Do you know what I mean? It's not selfish to say, look, I can't help you. I need to help myself. So I agree with her on that. And um, I've got to admit, yeah, MG. I, well, Penelope again, man. She locked, um, she locked Raphael and um, Hope in, in the hall. So... MG could get his moment, and do you know what? I think he smashed it out of the park, me. He actually did. He didn't do anything wrong. Um, he stood at the bottom of the stairs, linked, come on, let's go. To be honest, I don't think anybody will ever beat the Damon at standing at the bottom of the stairs while uh, Elena's coming down. Like, I'd, I'm interested to see if somebody can actually tell me a better, like, scene similar style than that because i think the damon and elena one you can't be here i think that's just peak like 10 out of 10 come down stood there he looked amazing she looked amazing went outside hands up done around done the bottom sick mate he done his own little version it was well good he come in really good looking really nice dropped uh, a favorite tune on you know girls want to have fun got the confetti going Give her a rose, whatever, like daisies or daffodils or whatever. Well, I know you'd be chatting, mate, because you do love these ones. Come in, started doing the dancing. I loved it, mate. Telling her all this stuff that he knows about her. First of all, she could be like, wow, that's a bit creepy. You know, like, we're not even going out, you know, all this stuff. But I've got to say, I really enjoyed it. And I do hope that he gets with her. I mean, I don't think she's she done anything bad. Per I said it in the last episode. She didn't do anything bad with Raphael. She didn't know that Joe wanted to be with her. Do you know what I mean? Like... She just was being herself and a guy who was there and it was a crush. So, in all that context, I'm not going to blame Liz. She invited him to the party as well, not knowing that job. So, and what I hope that, she, well, she did get from it is that he ended up saying, look, you know, last night was a mistake. It shouldn't have happened. And, uh, you know, I'll be here tonight. I'll be the date that you want, hopefully. I'll be the one that smashes that out of the park and makes you have a great birthday. No, 
that's good intentions, and I firmly think that you believe that, but nobody will beat MG's one. He was smashing it out of the park and making it feel good as well. I'm heartbroken a little bit, mate, when he come and he swapped places and he went outside and he was sad. But then he went into his element, didn't he? And he was like zombie land, he was like the walking dead, killing all the walkers, slaying them. You know, a guy said that he's like a real life Avenger at the end, <laughs> which is hilarious. Speaking to Penelope, obviously, Joe come out, thanks MG, didn't thank her. She turned around, what about me, mate? I was there, I helped her. You're the reason I was into this mess. No, she wasn't, but I'll let you take it anyway because, boom, she grabbed her, she kissed you. I hate you, I know. Back into the kiss, get in there. So that's really good. I hope, I like, I'm hoping that they're together. I hope now, after today's episode, I've been pairing people up, but after today's episode, I want Joe and Penelope and MG and Liz to get together. That way, two sisters don't get in the way of each other. I think that both of them couples click really well as well. I think they click better than Raph being in that scenario with them even though i don't mind him at all i actually don't mind him i mean it'd be interesting if they played him in a hope thing because you know herb and landon and his brother with family you know so that'd be uh that's interesting and again we've seen joe come back good nostalgia she said some nice stuff she said remember i told you you need to fight for each other when it comes when the time comes i need you to know that i told you remember that um so again very interested to see when the twins have to merge and if it's going to actually play out and they siphoned obviously her powers away and she's gone into the distance and again i like how she told rick that she said that joel think that he's uh, miserable and he said they'll be happy once obviously to get a hold of again very interesting and um i kind of want caroline to come in now we've had a few decent ones you know what i'd like as well yeah because you could bring people back bring damon and stefan back not in the same episode because I like it how they're doing one at a time. And it makes it better for me as well. Like, you've seen them both, it's like, yay. But then it's like, I'd rather have one and one. It makes it feel better. So get them in as well. Get everybody playing little cameos here and there. I would actually, look, it would make more sense, actually, to bring the originals in. Bring Klaus in. Bring Elijah in as well. It'll fit the whole with hope. It, it makes sense because, I mean, all the dead are coming back. So why not? literally why not and it'll excite me to see them back as well because i do love them too and what i actually really like is how we don't put yeah okay hope may be kind of like the main character revolving about her and ricky sort of thing but i actually like how it's not all on hope and it's a whole school and every cat like this episode hope was hardly in it and that's what i really like because it gives us a broad like uh, when we cast our most liked and disliked this one is going to be the best one because we are not solely focusing on one person so far. So then I'm very interested because so far my favourite characters dipped up and down constantly. I don't, each episode it's changing and really engaging and enjoying new people. So I'm interested to see your opinions when we do get to cast uh, our votes for that season. So thanks so much for on today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash a like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.